Good day, everyone. Thank you, David, for the opportunity to bring the public of Revelstoke up to date on just a few of Council's work this year so far. The amendment to the existing zone, CD09, to add additional uses is just that, an amendment to add uses. The zoning bylaw for that highway commercial has been land has been in place since 2007. The OCB updates and adopted by previous council are ongoing. It's a living document. Staff has confirmed over and over and over, I've asked, that the subject bylaw text amendment, bylaw 2088, is in compliance with the official community plan as required under the Local Government Act. I understand the angst of the small business community. I have compassion for those individual businesses that worry that their businesses may falter or fail. I have an embodied knowledge of that angst and worry, both as a child growing up and as a business partner. So remember, tonight is the public hearing. And just remember the book that Thomas Harris wrote, I'm okay, you're okay. Let's all be adults. We have confused the level of social networks with their ability to generate capital. The population in Revelstoke needs to grow. Our OCP tells us that. Our OCP also tells us only economic growth will shift that growth to greater than is currently happening, which is at a 0.07%. We need to watch that Revelstoke does not just meet the needs of the gentry. The second public hearing is again tonight at the community center. I encourage all to come out, bring your neighbors, State your name, your address, and your position if you are wishing to get up and speak. Council may not receive any new information during the time period between third reading after the public hearing and the consideration of adoption of the bylaw should it go through. I tried to respond to all your emails and if I've missed any of you, I apologize. Other important issues that Council's working on and addressing this fall, the Big Eddy Waterworks. There is a public meeting on December the 14th here at the Rec Centre. The other thing that's come to our attention again, and we must listen, is vacation homes. The Revelstoke Accommodation Association, Norm Langlois, presented to Council last week a very real concern to consider by Development Committee and the Administration Committees of Council. Revelstoke needs to lead on this issue. Whistler, Sun Peaks, other mountain resort towns have not got an answer to the problem. Vacation homes are not paying their fair share of taxes and for services. An OCP housing inventory is to be done this winter. We need to see where the gaps are and really have a plan that addresses those gaps. The first special budget meeting was held last week, last Thursday, and so far we've spent money. Sorry about that. Um, I'm your finance chair, and we are looking for $270,000 to arrive at a 0% budget. And we will do our best to come up with a budget that meets everybody's needs. So far, this draft budget is at 0% for all classes, except for utilities, which are 1.45%. And we need to be careful that we're not borrowing surpluses from previous councils to make a politically expedient budget. This council is going to meet with a financial focus group and go over their recommendations, and a meeting is being set up for that. The city engineer is in Ottawa as we speak, attending an FCM conference for asset management course. We were one of 12 communities in Canada to be invited to this program. 
and 50% uh, of the travel costs were paid by the gas tax monies. Penny Page Britton and Mike Thomas applied for and helped the mayor obtain the $3.6 million for the Big Eddy Waterworks. And this meeting's coming up to um, have people come out to on December 14th. Another um, exciting bit of news that I've enjoyed working on, uh, both Kendra Runnels, our local librarian, and myself attended the Okanagan Regional Library Board meeting last week. That's the reason I was away from the information open house. And uh, we're working on a strategic planning document. I've been quite involved in that and so has Kendra. Libraries are growing in their community mandates. They're becoming a center of connection for curious minds. I enjoyed the idea lab that was held here in Revelstoke two weeks ago. Revelstoke had over two dozen people attend probably twice what Sam and Arm had come out to theirs. People in Revelstoke are very passionate about their town and care very much. As the Christmas, Advent and winter solstice season approaches, I take this opportunity to wish all Revelstokeans a happy and healthy Festivus and the small business community a prosperous season. Remember the little boy who was a refugee who was born in a manger. Be kind to your neighbors. Food, clothing, dollars to the food bank, always appreciated at this time of year. A special wish for safe snow removal and travel. Good snow for the hills. Midnight madness this Friday in local businesses. And uh, thank you for this opportunity, David, again.